Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of the Chelsea Road to Glory. And today is the last day for all of the catching up that we have done. Um, we start off with our double icon, Max 88. And I know you're going to hate me for it just a little bit because it's FC points. But please bear with me that it wasn't it wasn't all that okay we didn't we didn't pack anything extraordinary with the fc points which i know is going to sound like a waste of time and a waste of money but you know whatever this is the first time ever that ea released a pack in the store that had double icons the only time that i can remember a pack having more than one icon was back in like what was it maybe fifa 21 where they released an icon pack for like fifa 18 or whatever and there was like five in them and they weren't even good icons either they were just like the garbage ea could muster for whatever reason and you know they they decided to literally give you like um who was in there larson was in there um he's the only one i really remember from from the old days because i don't think larson's in this game at least from from what i've seen uh yeah that's the only time that there's ever been a pack where like more than one icon that i can remember maybe you guys can remember another time that's happened but i'm pretty sure that was one of the times that like all of fifa twitter literally lost their mind because we got an icon pack and they were not even good icons and it was all the same icon in that pack so some people didn't even bother installing the old game to open that icon pack because it was just it was just not worth it and surprisingly there was a lot of people still playing ultimate team at that time but you know it is what it is anyways oscar here flashback oscar during the black friday promo and this video is kind of a long video because there is a lot of stuff to do black friday was actually a pretty decent uh promo that we got they had a lot of stuff some decent spcs like you saw the store packs they had some of those that were crazy um there was just a lot of stuff to do a lot of stuff to craft and one of my favorite things personally about the black friday promo is that there was it was kind of like a mini footies right because there were special cards from old promos back in packs and there was a best of team of the week there was a regular team of the week which unfortunately we couldn't pack uh lauren james uh for whatever reason i mean i would think she would have been common but i think ea might have just like made team of the weeks not as easy to pack because they were literally needed for every single spc aspect that came out during black friday so there's that but obviously for us we save our team of the weeks until we absolutely need them and you know uh i think right now i have like maybe five or six team of the weeks that i could use for svcs that i need which uh you know in the in the next video when we talk about the new promo that that came out today uh, you'll see that you know it's very easy to craft a certain player because of the fact that we have a pretty decent club right now which I did, I did, uh, I did like drain it a bit. You know, you'll see that we had a bunch of player picks. I actually crafted, I think, around like 40 something plus, um, just from like the stuff we had in our in our club. Like we literally went through every single promo without crafting anything, unless it was necessary, or unless there was like a very niche car that I really wanted, like the Willian in the FC Pro Live. Like I knew I wasn't gonna pack that, so there was no point in either opening packs or just like crafting a bunch of packs. You know, I kind of just went about it as casually as possible. Uh, but with the Black Friday promo and the Thunderstruck promo, which corresponded, uh, like they just meshed with each other or whatever, uh, we got Ruben Loftus Cheek. And Ruben Loftus Cheek, I think I was gonna evil back when like one of the midfielder uh evos was coming out because there was also pulisic that also could have had an evo that i gave to fleming and i just thought man pulisic and loftus cheek could have had an evo they could have linked together and now that loftus cheek has like a a live card that can be upgraded based on ac milan is actually fantastic 
because I, I'm pretty I think I think I'm pretty sure their games are like slightly easy enough for them to get the three wins which shouldn't be that bad I'm pretty sure he's already do an upgrade or already has one upgrade as of right now which is fantastic for us and another thing that I don't know where where in the video it is but there was the thunderstruck Michael Balak which you know there's there's always I'm, I'm pretty sure there's always been a Michael Balak SPC that drops no matter what it is and I'm really glad they dropped Michael Balak because when I opened those dual icon packs Makalele was like the only good one that I got so I ended up buying Ashley Cole and Hernan Crespo which I will see if they're good enough to get me into the weekend league and see if they're good enough in the weekend league uh, because I do want to get the red Evo if I can for 16 wins I know it's going to be the basic one but like trust me I'm definitely not going to hit that like 50 whatever wins that's like if I I don't know it, it would take a really long time for me to get to that level of uh, of FIFA nest that like is needed for that kind of uh, those kinds of games so I think at 16 wins once I get that I'll like figure out what I want to do with it uh, I saw Mudrik as a as a red card and that's kind of cool uh, my only concern right now is if a card gets red turned into a red card like if you evo it that that redness is gone i think which sucks and doesn't make any sense in terms of like the way ea is doing all this stuff because like the whole point of the evos apart from upgrading them was to like give them special designs and stuff and right now you can get a red version of a card and also make it radioactive and vice versa and like certain things just don't make sense right because like if you think about the promo that's out right now which i know is not part of the video or whatever but there's an evo that lets you change a card into the promo card but then what happens if you turned it into the red card right there's there's things that either haven't been explained or they're in the patch notes and 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 nobody's bothered to like read them because i haven't read them i don't even know if there are like pitch notes for or patch notes for the new promo right now and how the evo works and how it's gonna affect because if you evo a certain card then you can't just you can't evo it anymore because now it's stuck as the thing which a lot of people were very scared when they evoed their uh bacha the left back from from league uh women's they thought that that card was no longer live because the info tab for it just like disappeared or wasn't like brought back into the game and then the botcha card got upgraded to 89 and the red cards the people that had the red botcha also got upgraded to 89 so that needs to be better communicated i think because like what's the, what's the point of that one twitter account from ea sports that's supposed to be like communications for the people like there's no that thing is being used whenever they make mistakes there's no communication on a lot of the other things which are just as important as when they mess up and another thing that they messed up recently if you saw if you were on twitter at some point during this week was that people were getting their coins back from buying cruyff uh once he got his upgrade because the upgrade was given a play style i think that wasn't supposed to be the one he got and people bought cruyff since you know barca got the result or whatever and apparently a lot of people are saying, oh, people are going to keep their Cruyff and they're going to get their 6 million coins back or whatever, which would be insane if that happens. But I think it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't happen because it doesn't say explicitly what's going to happen there. And uh, speaking of icons, Balak here is amazing. Look at him in the in the new Chelsea kit. Uh, that's that's kind of why, why I love the the icons so much in this game especially the chelsea icons because we get to see what they look like in the kits now which i think is kind of a really cool thing which is why i also like the the aspect of the past and present because you think of teams like the big ones like real madrid or barcelona manchester united uh, and th those kinds of teams that caliber like you you think like what what do the old players and the new players look like in the new kit you know it's kind of it's kind of a little like nice aesthetically pleasing thing to look at for a bit you know and uh, there we got Tarek Lempi I did try him 
out because I did buy Ashley Cole and I was thinking like, oh, if Tarek Lamptey is good enough, then I can sell Ashley Cole back and get my coins and save those coins for another thing. But unfortunately, Tarek Lamptey is just not that great physically in the air and on the ground. And Ashley Cole has the uh, the playstyle plus for jockey, which is great because uh, Lawrence also has that playstyle plus which means like both of my fullbacks have jockey and it's pretty pretty amazing uh i wish lawrence had a little bit more physical but you know for the most part i think i think uh i think ashley cole is pretty pretty solid i wish i had his uh what is it the centurions version i think is what he has so i'm kind of hoping ea like drop a good version of ashley cole as an sbc even if it is a centurion's one, like I, I don't, I don't mind it as long as I can craft it. I'm good, you know. That's kind of like my go-to when it comes to these icon SBCs, or when it comes to just I, having icons in the in the team. I kind of prefer them being SBCs, no matter what uh, what kind they are. Which, which is why I really appreciate this Balak, because we'll actually have a decent midfielder that can, you know, have that presence in the midfield that we need compared to like Gallagher and Cuthbert and and everybody else. I think Fleming before then, you know, she was pretty fast, but she didn't have that physicality either, which I think is very important for this game. Uh, you know, you want that pace up top as, as usual. You know, that's a normal thing to, to need. And the midfield has to be physical. The midfield has to have those physicality stats, which, you know, the Bruyne probably doesn't have, but you know everything else around him, you know, makes him makes him very usable, which you know is why we have him in the team in there. And Makalele, uh, obviously, is now uh, my new DM, which I kind of am like debating about whether he should be there or Rice should still be in the team. But I really wanted Oscar to be on full cam, which is why I went all out with the icons and bought Ashley Cole and Crespo and but on before was in Balak's place but then i actually got to put Balak there because i knew he was coming but i was like i don't know if i should uh if i should wait or do whatever but this right now is the team obviously courtois we packed hallelujah we actually have a good goalkeeper now we don't have to be stuck with sanchez which hopefully improves our odds of winning in the weekend league and qualifications i still have to do that um but this team looks a bit solid like the the left striker icon and maybe michael Lille look a bit stinky but you know eventually we'll, we'll get better icons and right now i think this team looks fantastic i'm right now working on uh Guehi from uh crystal palace the english center back who used to play at chelsea he will probably replace uh, Levy at some point uh, I'm not too sure if I'll have him for the weekend league or before that I think I'm just gonna qualify with this team and then finish Guehi and have him come in for the actual weekend league if I can get that done and then hopefully I can get I don't know like maybe five to eight wins to get me closer and then the next weekend league will be when we have the red and hopefully all that pans out and what else we got Kerr like three times which was crazy uh but i'm really glad i finally got Kerr my own version you know maybe we turn her red i don't know uh Wrighton didn't get any promo cards yet which i'm hoping she does but i know it'll be like a million plus coins but it, it's fine it'll be whatever uh maybe maybe the red will be loftus cheek i don't know but we'll see for the next time this has been the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.